Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, it's hot in here. Um, so I, I, I wanted, I, I would like to know just more about military ranks. I know they're going to vary probably from country to country, but, and you can't see this. Why not? Th that's why. It was off the thing. Uh, original link to the video from Premier History, top of the description, preemptive like. Australian army ranks explained. I want to just know more about army ranks. Uh, learning the Australian army ranks is as good as learning any other country, so that's, that's why. Little bit of a random video, not really. Let's go. Pretty short video. My name's Connor, if you're new, the original link to the video, top of the description. I didn't say this stuff yet, right? Premier History. My name's Connor. I, I'm repeating myself. Let's go. You guys are awesome always in the comments, by the way. I want to make sure I say this every now and then. And I uh, just thank you. Any questions I have, I'd appreciate any, any answers or any comments as always. All right. There are so many, there are so many ranks in the Neck. Australian Army. For, there are so many ranks in the Australian Army. For some people, <clears throat> what each rank means and the order in which they progress can be confusing. In this video, we look at a simple guide to the Australian Army ranks in order. I've never seen anything like this. I really want to know what these represent. Private. Within the Australian Army, once basic training is completed, new soldiers will begin their careers as a private. Their titles may differ, however, such First as class. craftsman, gunner, musician, patrolman, sapper, or signalman. This will depend on their assigned corps or regiment. Lance Corporal. Promotion to this rank will usually follow initial employment training, or roughly three years as a private. A Lance Corporal will usually supervise a team of up to four soldiers. They will also have the opportunity to complete specialist military training. Corporal. The rank of corporal is generally attained after six to eight years with the So private Lance Corporal Corporal. The rank of list military is generally attained after six to eight years within the Australian Army. This will depend on the soldier's leadership abilities. A corporal will typically be in charge of a section, a crew, a team, or detachment. Corporals can often perform roles training junior soldiers. Sergeant. So going from private private to a uh, to lance corporal isn't so much like showing your worth or your capability. It's just like if you serve enough x amount of years as a private you become a corporal so you can't be maybe like show less promise and capability and still be a private after like six years that's just not a thing but when it goes from lance corporal to corporal it does require time in the military and showing your kind of ability this rank holds a senior role of responsibility Depending on the soldier's ability, promotion to sergeant will take around 12 years of service. Jesus Christ. Generally, a sergeant will be second in charge of around 40 soldiers and usually advise junior officers. Captain? Staff sergeant. Staff sergeant. Following a number of years service at the rank of sergeant, staff sergeant may follow. This senior role will require the soldier to use management skills in administrative or logistical roles. This rank may be phased out of the army in the near future. Warrant Officer Class 2. At this rank... So I'm assuming the staff sergeant is the one that is first in charge of around 40 soldiers and his second in command is the sergeant in that same group. So is this the first rank where you are solely in charge of a group of soldiers? Like you, unless given specific commands from higher up, like you are the one in charge of a group of people 
And this is the first point of that. Warrant Officer Class 2. At this rank, a WO2 will perform a management role looking at the discipline, training and welfare of a battery, company or squadron of up to 200 soldiers. They will generally be in senior logistic and technical roles, but can also perform instructor roles in army schools. Warrant Officer Class 1. This rank will so we're, what is the, is the 40 soldiers a, bat, a battalion? So up to 200 soldiers. So that would be five groups of the 40 soldiers can uh, led by the staff sergeant. And so will a warrant officer then be in charge of those five staff sergeants? will take many years of experience officer class one. This rank will take many years of experience to attain. Generally, after around 18 years of outstanding service, a soldier can attain the rank of W01. They will be the senior advisors of their unit's commanding officer and have the responsibility to look after the welfare of up to 650 soldiers. A sergeant major of a unit is a W01 and holds a special position within the unit. They can also hold very important supervisory roles within varying units across. Guys, I just, I, I really don't like going through videos and then not understanding stuff. I know this is annoying sometimes, but. And 50 soldiers. Responsibility to look after the welfare of up to 650 soldiers. A sergeant major of a unit is a W01 and holds a special position within the unit. They can also hold very important supervisory roles within varying units across the Australian Army. Ret Kind of confusing because the 600, I, I was expecting it to be like 400 soldiers because that would be two. Uh, sorry, okay. Regimental Sergeant Major of the Army. This position is responsible to the Chief of the Army and responsive to all ranks. There's only one soldier who can hold this rank at any one time. The Regimental Sergeant Major of the Army is a member of the personal staff of the Chief of the Army. Their main role is to ensure the views of the Chief of the Army are passed down to the soldiers, as well as the soldiers' views and concerns back to the Chief. Officer Cadet so is he like the HR department of, of, a, of a group of soldiers? The rank of officer cadet is provided to those who study at the Australian Defence Force Academy. That rank is then changed to staff cadet once they enter the Royal Military College at Duntroon. Second level Defence Force. So this is where, like, if you have higher education and have multiple years of schooling and in uh, military academies, like... This is your private position. Like, th this is the lowest rank of the more schooled, uh, higher educated uh, people intending to go into the army. That, like, this is your, the private level of, of them. Is, is that fair? Academy Officer Cadet is provided to those who study at the Australian Defence Force Academy. That rank is then changed to Staff Cadet once they enter the Royal Military College at Duntroon. Second Lieutenant. This rank is provided to new officers in special appointments, such as. Sorry, that was an alarm. I forgot to cancel. Military College at Duntroon. Second Lieutenant. This rank is provided to new officers in special appointments, such as university regiments, training institutions, or under probation during training. Their responsibilities will be similar to that of a lieutenant. Why did they say lieutenant? lieutenant? This Loitman. rank will usually be held for a period of three years. They will be in command of a platoon or troop of around 30 soldiers. 
With further experience, they may also take command of more specialised platoons over time. Captain In the Australian Army over time, they may also take command of 30 soldiers. I'm so- I, I'm dumb. I'm so confused. How, how do they only control 30 soldiers? If they're a, above the in rank, the people who are in control of like 650 soldiers. With further experience, they may also take command of more specialized platoons over time. Captain. In the Australian Army, a captain will be second in command of a subunit of up to 120 soldiers. They hold important roles, with the need to be involved in the decision making and planning processes of tactical units. They have responsibilities over operations on the ground, as well as equipment maintenance. Major the rank of Major can be attained after between 8 to 10 years of service. They are seen as field rank officers and take command of up to 120 soldiers. They will take on the responsibility of those soldiers' training and equipment, as well as their general welfare. Lieutenant. So is it fair to say that Captain is the highest rank in the military where you are with your soldiers on the battlefield? You know, is that correct or no? I'm going out on a limb here. Whereas when you get to major, they're not going to be shooting at the enemy or anything. They're going to be like further back orchestrating and messaging the higher up. Colonel. I, I really, I, I don't rank, know. A lieutenant colonel will take command of around 650 soldiers, containing between three and five subunits. They will be in charge of the operational effectiveness of their unit. They can also hold staff officer appointments at the brigade level or higher. Colonel. A colonel will not usually be in command of a unit, oh, but man. can hold positions within schools or training centres. They can hold positions such as senior staff officers on headquarters, such as chief of staff. They may also be given specialised roles within a capability, such as oversight of a project or development. Major? Brigadier. Danger. This is a one-star general rank. A brigadier will command at the brigade level and are also directors general within army headquarters and non-army groups. They have responsibility for branches such as career management, operations and personnel. Major General This is a two-star general rank. A Major General will take command of a formation of division size and hold high-level appointments within the Department of Defence. Lieutenant General This is a three-star general rank. A Lieutenant General is the second highest active rank in the Australian Army. This rank is held by the Chief of the Army. It is also held when the officer is the Vice Chief of the Defence Force, the Chief of Joint Operations, or the Chief of Capability Development. General This is a four-star general rank. General is the highest active rank in the Australian Army. The rank is only held when an officer is appointed as the Chief of the Defence Force. Major General, thanks. Perhaps you That's or it? a family member has served. Well, what what's the, what is then the five star? Are you just a five star general? Uh. Perhaps you or a family member has served or is serving in the Australian Army. Which rank do you think is the backbone of the Australian Army? Um, probably the highest guy involved that is, like, sort of on the field. Like a staff sergeant, or a, maybe a captain. Is the captain the one? 
I feel I, I I could be wrong, but I just feel like captain would be the highest rank in the army that is like directly with the troops. I could be completely wrong there, but that, that that's what I, my guess would be. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That, that that's a guess squared by me, by the way. So it's a guess that that is what the uh, captain is and is the highest ranking on the battlefield and a second guess and that i'm guessing that that's the backbone so very likely choice uh chance i can be as always I can be guys wrong. thanks for watching be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want I to did, expand right? your knowledge and join the growing premier history community awesome great video thank you for making that video premier history Fascinating. Um, I wonder how much it, it differs from something like the British military or uh, New Zealand. Does New Zealand have a military? They don't get mad. No, they must. That was a dumb question. And just how it, how it might differ from other kind of Anglo countries. Um, great video. Love you all. Hope you're all doing well. Chin up if you're not. Emotions are fickle, my friend. Smile. All right. Uh, yeah, love y'all. Uh, definitely check out Premier History, great channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.